Hey everyone. In the last few videos in the series, we've learned how to create data flows in the Power BI service. So I'll show you uh, the data flow we've created. For those of you who want to learn how to create data flows can probably go and look at the last few videos in the playlist Power BI service. Any case, I'm logged into the Power BI service and I go to the demo workspace and I click on data flows. And you can see I've created this data flow, but it doesn't translate into a data set. So if I go to data sets, you will see that that data set doesn't exist. But what you can do is you can use the Power BI desktop and get the data using a data flow as a data source. So I'll show you how to do that in this video. So I've got the Power BI desktop file and I've already logged in on the right hand side. You can see I've logged in. So I'll, on the home tab, I'll go to transform. I'll just go to get data and I click on more. I'm not sure what happened there. Let's try again. And I'll, on the left hand side, I'll click on the Power Platform and I'll click on Power BI Data Flows and hit Connect. So you can see it's showing me the Power BI Data Flows. Essentially, if you're not logged in, it will probably ask you to put in your credentials, which already I have put in from an earlier um, ex example I was doing. So um, I'll just click on this demo workspace. So it's telling me that I've got a data flow in the demo workspace. It's called country data by year. And if I click on that, it shows me that it has got sheet one. Now, if I check this sheet one, it shows me the data that sits there. So I can click on transform data and it will take me to the power query editor where I can still go ahead and do more transformations to my code. Uh, or I can just go and click load. So in this case, I'll just do load for now. So I hit load. And you can see that uh, it is connecting and getting the uh, that worksheet or data into the Power BI. And you can see on the right hand side, it has created sheet one. And if I go to the data tab and click on sheet one, I'm able to see the data. And I can also go into my data model and I'll see that that sheet one is available to me. Here it is. So maybe I need to zoom in a bit on there. So you can see that data has become available to me. So in this video, we've learned how to get data from a data flow and use data flow as a data source in the Power BI desktop. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Cheers. Bye.